Hi Aries, welcome to your week ahead. This is for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign placements. Aries, when I was shuffling for your spread about the week ahead, you had three cards that came out. The Five of Cups, the Moon, and Justice. So I feel that Aries, you are trying to recover from being upset. This could be to do around a relationship or just something that you're not happy about. Could be feeling depressed about, feeling at an emotional loss for. But you're at a place where you are trying to recover from that energy. And with the moon here, this may be you recovering from some deception or lies or some fears or doubts. And with justice here, you may be focused on how to balance your emotions. Or you could be focusing on trying to make a decision that's best for you or that's best for what you're dealing with. With justice here, you could be involved in a legal matter. And this was in the pre-shuffle. So I'm going to put these cards back in. And we're going to see about what else comes up for you in, about the week ahead. This is for August 5th to August 11th, 2019. I'll be using the mini Celtic cross. So we're going to take a look at for you, Aries, where you're at in the present. What your challenge or influence is. What is your situation in the root cause below? What is in your recent past? What's on your mind? And your crowning thoughts above? What's in the future? And what's your likely outcome that is also your advice? You also have the tower that just popped out. So you could be dealing with some sort of adversities or uncomfortable shakeups or drastic changes or maybe coming into an epiphany, a realization about something. With this tower energy, you could be dealing with anxiety or experiencing some sort of shock or reset. But there's something you may be trying to release with this energy or change or dealing with some sort of sudden change. Um, also with this energy, you could be experiencing the end of something, the end of a cycle. Okay, we have a theme for you in your week ahead. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Let's finish getting your spread ready. Aries, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, let's get into it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Swords. So this is the overall energy in your focus. So with the Page of Swords here, Aries, you could be trying to protect or guard yourself. With this Page of Swords, you could be coming up with a new consideration. Or you could be dealing with some news or message that you are receiving or that you are going to convey. Underneath that Page of Swords is the Four of Wands. So this could be around home or family. This could have something to do with you internally, about your spirit and thinking. With the Page of Swords, too, as your focus, this could have something to do with a child or someone that's a lot younger that you are dealing with. Your overall theme in the week ahead is you do have the Lady of the Mirror, Reflection and Non-Judgment. So with this energy, Aries, I feel that you're reevaluating, that you are reviewing something in a loving way. You are looking upon something without casting blame or blaming yourself. So your energy, where you are in the present, is the Page of Cups. So with this energy, you may receive, you may have received some news or a message that came in 
and you are examining that news, examining that message, you may be focused on trying to heal because what's influencing that page of cups that is a challenge for you as well is you taking care of yourself with this Queen of Pentacles, you trying to nurture yourself or nurture the situation, take care of something because the Queen of P Pentacles is the do it all. She can male or female, multitask, is practical, is grounded, is very successful and creative at building and taking care of things in the material, physical world. Very abundant, very task oriented, very organized, very detailed oriented. But this Queen of Pentacles is very good at taking care of others and just taking care of matters in general. So your influence here is you may be focusing on healing and how to take care of something or focusing on how to be creative about a matter. But this feels like news or message came in because you have the page of source as your overall focus and energy. So this may be about a message or news that came in. With two pages here, you may be dealing with a child or someone that's very young. What's at the root cause of this is you do have this three of swords. With this three of swords energy, I feel like this is you healing from some sort of disappointment or suffering in a connection or within a communication involving others. Recent past, you have the five of cups. This is, ex this is experiencing emotional loss Emotional lack, feeling hurt, pain, feeling disappointed. Um, could even be some depression in the recent past. That energy in the recent past, as you're recovering, you reflect on what's happened. You could have been involved in a three-party situation, found out about it could have separated yourself from something or someone. In your mind, as you got the page of Pentacles, is another page. So for some of you, this is definitely involving children. Possible that a child has done something that you're not cool with. You are perhaps looking at what this child has done or someone that's very young. They behaved immaturely or impulsively could have behaved immaturely or impulsively. Reflecting on examining place coming from a loving standpoint in your assessment. You know, not being judgmental, but perhaps more about what the solution needs to be or how to progress forward. But with this page of Pentacles here on your mind, you are focused on how to gain in the situation or what to do. Focused on how to be of help or to receive some help. With the page of pentacles here, you may be trying to learn or understand. Learning and gaining an understanding. Into page of pentacles, this is you working on with this three of swords. On healing. In the future, you do have this King of Swords. King of Swords energy, this is you having a clear mind, or you are dealing with someone embodying this energy of the King of Swords, being objective, being logical about the situation, detaching from your emotions. Perhaps fair in your assessment and you mean up the pros and cons in the matter. Swords is the master of his element. So this is very clear thinking, very logical thinking. This is um, a st strong planning and strategics with the King of Swords. You may be looking at how to bring something to an end, how to clear something up, coming to to plan out or do something in a logical way. Bring that whatever you have to de decide or maybe cast judgment on, 
really evaluating it from a loving perspective, being non-judgmental. Now, this may be you needing to be non-judgmental with yourself or a need to be non-judgmental towards another, trying to see what is, how to solve the problem. The outcome is this five of wands. This five of wands is about you dealing with struggle, strife, complications, competition with others. Five. So fives bring about change. So you focus on how to take action to change the situation in terms of advice or how to use the argument or issue. Is you are dealing with sort of a struggle some sort of competition, but the advice for you to figure out how to change it, change it, avoid the possible, the possible, or what can you do to shift it? Deeper areas, sorts, this, you uncovering a secret, Gaining knowledge, wisdom, or following your intuition on a matter. This is your focus. How to be stable or secure, or how to secure something. You are focused on being stuck. How to release or let go. Now, the money involved here. Work. The recent past. You have. This disappointment, vision to move away from that disappointment, that upset, is being where you are right now. This is you with the Nine of Pentacles, focusing on how, how to be resourced situation, to remain grounded, to focus for an independence. Well, you may be receiving news about becoming single. It's about someone needing your help. Receiving news about, about you wanting to be of help. Focusing on coming up with a strategy or a plan to escape, to get away. You could have with betrayal, lies, and deceit. Taken advantage of. Talk. Future, you do have the tower. The way that no longer serves you. This may be you focusing on how to reset. How to deal with it. But with the king of coming up with an adequate plan to do it. Outcome. You do have. So there is your ability to change or transform your situation. But just here, this talks about your ability to see how you can change, what action you can take to change what's happening that's causing you strife or giving you competition. This. Guidance for Aries. Okay. You have two cards. The first one is Meerkat. Get support from a trusted of like-minded friends. The Falcon. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. Matter that you're dealing with. Don't be hard. But instead, focus on the solution. Focus on the strategy and to deal with it, to change it, to fix it, to address it. If support or help is needed, reach out. But act on it, focusing on the opportunity to do it and commit to it without equivocation. I hope these messages help. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.